if you are in the United States right now, these are on sale at Amazon. Of course, they were not on sale when I bought them last week, but today they're on sale. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, I was a child in the 70s, but I was a teenager in the 80s. So sea monkeys were a huge part of life for kids back then. And uh, even my aunt was like, oh my God, I can't believe you bought more of those. I remember them, you know, that was fun. I did have some around 2004 and uh, kind of searched around a little bit. I remember keeping the tank even after uh, they had expired, which took a really long time. Like, I think they lived for like two years. Anyway, couldn't find it and thought, you know what? I've lived long enough. I've got so much stuff. Might as well buy some more stuff. It's easier. Plus, if I had found the tank, I would have to buy the packets anyhow. So here we go. Got the standard tank. This one um, is the one that glows in the dark. You know, you have to light it up uh, with a light source and then it will glow for a short period of time after that. This one I had to have because I love B-movies from the 50s and 60s and um, was crazy about the look. See, so you have a spaceship in there and then you got a little space critter. You know, it's, it's an aqua monkey in a space suit. He's on a tether. So he's, uh, you know, out in space away from his ship. Of course, the dog is shaking and rattling because I want to do a little video. Okay, so what I did is I bought one of these because, you know, I'm a little bit on the cheap side of things. And I just stuck it to the side with a little bit of tape uh, so I could kind of gauge the temperature. Let me tell you what else I did. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos of people saying, do this and don't do that and do this and don't do that and this is true and that's not true. So this one... I did not follow directions. I added packet number two immediately after I had stirred up packet number one. I did let it sit for maybe two hours to purify the water. And then I added the eggs to this one, okay? This one I did what you're supposed to do and I waited the full 24 hours to add packet two. So what I have today is a ton of baby sea monkeys in this tank. I don't know how well you can see them, but um, there's, I know you see several. There's one in this area, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, they're everywhere in this tank that I did not follow directions on. In this tank uh, last night, I was able to find a couple, but man, it was very difficult, and um, there just aren't that many in this tank. So, again, with some things that happen in my life every now and then, not following directions paid off, this tank is full of sea monkeys, <laughs> so, um, Depends on how you want to do it, but like I said, I added the packet number two eggs uh, within two hours, maybe three hours of putting the water purifier packet one. This one, I did what I was supposed to do, and um, yeah, I really can't, I really can't find any in here right now. They have uh, been sitting side by side. They've had the same treatment. They're at the same temperature, which I just touched this, but um, it is uh, around 75 degrees, um, according to the instructions on this. The red is the color it's kind of moving toward, but it's really in the 75 degree range, uh, which is where you want it to be. So, uh, price difference. This one was $15. This one was $20 because it's $20 worth of cool. Just looks cool as hell. And this one just looks like they always did. Um, but it's full of little baby sea monkeys. 
Now they're tiny, but you can see movement in this tank. Let me see if I can... So... You see one moving up toward the top and... I mean, I see them everywhere, even though my camera's not that great. So yeah, you get, um, I have like a bunch going on on this one, and a couple, maybe, if they're still alive today, because I did see uh, maybe, maybe three last night. So we're on day three. Today is day three of having put the eggs in. So... Actually, it would be like uh, day two on this tank and day three on this tank. So we'll see what happens next. There are a lot of people out there on YouTube that know a lot more about them than I do, other than I've had them on and off uh, since the 70s. And you know, it's something fun. It's fairly inexpensive. Um, I do recall um, how big my last ones got. Um, the ones from around 2004. I mean, they really got huge. And lived quite a long time, so. I'm interested in the Aqua Dragons. I would like to have one of those tanks. Um, because the tanks are sort of shaped differently and they look different. So, um, if anybody could leave a comment and tell me something about those. Or if I should stick to what I have. You know, it's just life, and it's a little bit of fun, and if you could get a slice of happiness this inexpensive, go ahead and do it. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye.